This is Christopher Lewis from the DailyForex.com trading desk looking at the dollar Swiss pair for the February 22nd Forex trading session. As you can see I have a yellow box uh, which represents the 91 to 90 support zone as well as a blue moving average. This is the 200 day uh, EMA moving average as you can see is coming underneath price and on top of that we have a couple of hammers that have formed uh, right about the 91 handle. Looking at this pair it is acting a bit differently than it would historically. And this is predicated basically upon the Euro Swiss situation where the Swiss National Bank has a minimum accepted rate exchange rate in the Euro Swiss of a 1.20. With that in mind, uh, the Euro Swiss pair will control the other Swiss related pairs as threat of intervention will continue to hamper franc buying. The Euro Swiss is currently roughly at about 1.2070, so it's not that far from that floor, and as such, buying the franc is risky. Because after all, if they do intervene in the Euro Swiss to the long side, it will affect this pair in the same manner. Also, you have to keep in mind that the U.S. economy is much stronger than most Western economies, and this certainly includes Europe, which is where 80% of the exports that Switzerland sends out end up. With that in mind, it's very difficult to think that the recession that's coming to Europe and all of the financial issues won't have an effect on the Swiss economy as a whole. The typical dynamics would have been to sell this pair in times of fear because the franc was the ultimate safe haven. That's no longer the case obviously. Nor is the Japanese yen. So it really leaves the dollar by default. With the headlines out there going around making their rounds and, and pushing the markets back and forth, the safer bet would be to the long side anyways in this pair. So looking at this, I see an opportunity. We can break the top of the hammer, second hammer in a row. This should signal a surge higher. I initially think that the 9250-ish area will be the first target, but I'm actually prepared to perhaps hang on to this for as high as 95. I eventually think by the end of the year we will see parity, but one step at a time. 90 is my line in the sand. If we get a daily close below 90, then obviously something's happened. It's very difficult to believe that this pair would get sub 90 without the Euro uh, Swiss pair going sub 120. So in that particular circumstance, if we're sub 90 in this pair and intervention hasn't happened, something's changed. Because of this, I feel very confident in this move, although it should be said that this pair can grind for a while before it actually moves, so patience will be key. The 200-day moving average should act as support, and the recent surge uh, has this on a Fibonacci study at roughly the 50% retrace as well. So plenty of reasons to go long in this pair.